Welcome to my balcony garden. Here's how I turned 150 square feet into an edible gardening oasis. Growing joy. Hi plant friends, I'm Maria, your new best plant friend. I'm here to help you care for plants successfully and grow joy in your life. And I'm so excited because I just redid my balcony garden. I'm trying to grow all of my salad and vegetables for the summer on this modest 150 square foot balcony garden. I'm trying and testing a lot of new products, so I wanted to show you what I did, how I set everything up, and the vision for the garden so I can track it throughout the year. So let's start over here. We have, this is a high low garden, as you would say. I have extremely affordable things and then things that are a little bit more of an investment because it's my goal to make sure that I have stuff that is accessible to you at every single price point. So we can start with these little railing planters. A big thing with balcony gardening is you have to use your railing, right? That's half of your space. So I got these things on Amazon, but they have a hole in the bottom of them, plant friends. So I've put smaller edibles in them. We've got our mints. I have morning glories, four different versions of morning glories that I want to trail along the balcony railing. The flowers will be great for hummingbirds and they will also attract pollinators for all of the food that I'm growing. So now when it comes to food, we've got some grow bags and we've got some self-watering planters. These are the most affordable things that I have on my balcony. These are probably going to be the biggest investment. So these are my Crescent Garden True Drop Planters. This is the first season that I'm gardening in these. I'm so excited to test them. They're a self-watering planter. So they have a water reservoir. You fill them up with a hose in here. This is the water gauge, and it tells you how... It tells you when you, you need to rewater, but from what I've heard, this will take me like a week or two to have to refill, and I have a lot of weddings to go to the summer plant, friends. I gotta like take my vacations in the summer. I can't just be, you know, chained to my tomato plants, so I'm hoping that these planters will really help me extend my gardening season, and when I go away, at least some of my stuff won't get withered. So... We have grow bags. I'm doing a variety of cut flowers, flowers for pollination, and food. The primary goal of this is a kitchen garden. So let me show you what I'm growing edible-wise. We've got mint. We've got chives. These are flowers. We're doing a grow bag of cosmos, a grow bag of zinnias. This is a micro dwarf tomato plant, which has basil and lettuce companion planting. I also put some carrots in here. This is another micro dwarf companion planting container. We have a whole separate video on it. It's got micro dwarf varieties of tomatoes, bell peppers, and small lettuces, and then a micro dwarf cucumber that's going to grow up this trellis. So another tip when you're balcony gardening, use your vertical space, use your trellises, use your balcony railing. This is what I'm probably the most excited about. This is called the Crescent garden nest. It's the self-watering container, but I love that it's elevated so that you don't have to bend over. And also it's basically at the top of my railing. So it's never going to get in shade from the balcony railing. I intensive planted this. It has a really deep reservoir, I guess, for the soil. So I've got basil, every single herb you could imagine. We have a line of lettuce over here. And then I'm experimenting with some different varieties of micro dwarf tomatoes that I've never grown before. I have four different micro dwarf tomatoes. We'll see. It'll be survival of the fittest. But micro dwarf tomatoes are tomatoes that tend to never get more than like 12 or 18 inches tall. And they grow little cherry tomatoes. I'm really excited to see these varieties. We've got Chibico, Orange Hat, golden hour and a dark one. I forgot the name, but it's like a purple cherry tomato. And I love that this comes with trellises because they'll trellis up. I planted a cucumber on either side of this trellis. They'll either climb up the trellis or they'll start growing on the balcony and they'll trellis there. Please continue as we keep walking. This is another one of the self-watering planters. We have nasturtium, edible flowers, jalapenos, um, what else? Another cucumber. Trying eucalyptus for the first time, plant friends. If you have any eucalyptus tips for growing, I hear it's a very slow growing plant. Let me know in the comments if you've ever heard of anything, if you've ever heard of any tips. Another micro dwarf tomato. My husband could probably eat 50 cherry tomatoes every day, every day of the summer. So I can't grow enough tomatoes and enough basil for him. So there are tomatoes in pretty much every single container. This is a sun gold tomato. So this is the only normal size cherry tomato. Every other tomato that I'm growing is a micro dwarf variety, but my husband's favorite is sun gold. So I will grow sun golds for him. 
we've already staked it. We've got little pollinator um, attracting plants for it. This is borage. I love borage. It's a medicinal plant. Um, I make tea out of it. It's very calming for your nervous system. It also grows beautiful blue flowers. And then this is more of a cut flower grow bag experiment I'm doing. I've overplanted this grow bag. It's got three zinnias and four geraniums in it. I'm worried that there's too many, <laughs> too many plants in one grow bag, but we're going to see. It's going to be survival of the fittest and we're going to see who thrives. I've also got violas. We've got lettuces, um, more morning glories. Is that it? Oh yeah. And a lemon balm. And do you hear that in the background? That's my Wind River wind chime. It has changed my experience of my balcony garden. Every time the wind blows, it hits the wind sail. And I am just like serenaded by these beautiful Corinthian bells. It's such a vibe in the morning when I come out here with my watering can. I'm watering my house plants. The wind chimes are singing to me. The birds are singing to me. I'm like one with nature. It's the best feeling ever. So this is day one of the balcony garden. I'm so excited to see how it goes. Everything is planted up in Espoma organic potting mix and we put biotone at the beginning of everything. I bought transplants. I'm not starting anything from seed this year because I had too much travel this spring so I couldn't start seeds indoors. So I went and I sourced transplants from all the local greenhouses and garden centers. It took me like three weeks. I visited different garden centers to see what, what everybody had and price compared and you know did that whole, whole fun um, um, anticipatory shop before the last frost date has passed. I'm 6A. A lot of our local gardeners say that you shouldn't plant before Memorial Day, but I've checked the weather. It's May 17th. We've planted everything today. I'm risking it. I think we're going to be fine. Knock on wood, right? Famous last words. Subscribe to this channel because I'm going to do my best to do monthly updates on how the garden is growing, what's been successful, what hasn't been. This is my fifth year balcony gardening, so I've definitely applied some lessons learned, but I'm trying a lot of new stuff this year. I'm so excited. I feel like a kid again. I feel like a beginner gardener again, trying new varieties, trying new growing methods. So subscribe, like, comment. Let me know if you've grown anything or if, you, if you've used any of these products or if you have products to recommend. And until next time, keep growing joy.